7 UNESCO World Heritage Sites in India India is blessed with rich culture and geographical diversity. This country ranks sixth in the world in terms of the number of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. We've all heard about the Taj Mahal, one of the seven wonders of the world, but India is not limited to it. A wealth of cultural treasures and natural beauty awaits you here. From ancient caves in steep gorges to surreal landscapes and ruins of the Vijayanagara Kingdom, there's plenty to see. In this video, we will highlight seven of the most amazing UNESCO World Heritage Sites in India. 1. Hampi, Karnataka. In the heart of the state of Karnataka in southern India lies the old village of Hampi. The landscape here is surreal. You may feel like you are on another planet. Banana palms and lime green rice paddies contrast with giant ochre boulders. These boulders dot the hills, towering in stacks and resembling crumbling sculptures. You can watch mesmerizing sunsets from the hills. In the 14th century, the Vijayanagara Kingdom was located here. Today, the UNESCO-listed Hampi complex contains the ruins of many monuments, including temples and forts. In total there are more than 1,600 elements. Book a guided tour or rent a bike and explore the village. There is a lot to see here like Virupaksha Temple, Vatala Temple and Monkey Temple. Come in November for Hampi Utsav, a huge festival celebrating local culture. Stay with a charming family at Banana Farmhouse. 2. Varanasi, Uttar Pradesh. Varanasi is one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world and one of the most sacred places in India. Varanasi is located in the north of the country and stands on the banks of the sacred Ganges River. This city is of great importance from a historical and spiritual point of view. Watch a mesmerizing sunrise or sunset while riding a boat. If you see garlands of flowers floating on the water and smoke rising from the ghats, steps leading to the river, then the daily public cremation has begun. Varanasi is the spiritual home of Indian sadhus, holy people who have renounced all worldly possessions. The ghats serve as places where devout Hindus come to take ritual baths in holy water. Funeral pyres are also lit here and bodies are cremated in the sacred eternal fire. Come here during the unforgettable festival of Dev Deepavali. It takes place on the full moon night 15 days after Diwali, late October early November. You will see over a million earthen lamps, diyas, being lit on the steps leading to the water. Stay at the historic Bridge Rama Palace Boutique Hotel on the banks of the Ganges. 3. Konark, Odisha Konark is a city in the state of Odisha. Here on the coast of the Bay of Bengal is an incredible sun temple built in the 13th century. This famous UNESCO site is dedicated to the Hindu sun god Surya and is shaped like his huge chariot. It has 12 pairs of stone wheels, decorated with carvings and decorative designs. You can tell the time by the way the sun's rays fall on the wheels. The chariot is drawn by seven stone horses. Come in December to experience the Konark Dance Festival and experience the rich culture of India. Stay at the Mayfair Waves Hotel. It is less than an hour's drive from the temple. 4. Delhi, National Capital Region. The capital of India has many attractions. Be sure to visit the Red Fort, Humayun's Mausoleum and Qutub Minar. Walk through the grounds of the Red Fort, also known as Lal Kila, and admire its red sandstone walls. The fort was built in 1639 by order of the ruler of the Mughal Empire, Shah Jahan. Then visit Humayun's mausoleum, Makbara-e-Humayun. The mausoleum is decorated with a massive double dome, lined with marble and red sandstone. It stands majestically among symmetrical green spaces. Finally, admire the Qutub Minar, the world's tallest brick minaret. It was built in the 13th century for muezzins to call Muslims to prayer. Stay close to the Red Fort at Haveli Dharampura, a UNESCO Heritage Award winner. 5. Aurangabad, Maharashtra. Northeast of the city of Aurangabad, amidst the hilly terrain of Maharashtra, are the Ajanta Caves. These are impressive Buddhist temples carved into the rocks of a steep granite gorge. 
Many of these caves date back to the 5th century AD. Here you will see sculptures, wall paintings and murals that reference the teachings of the Buddha. The caves contain some of the best examples of ancient Indian art. The images contain a lot of detail and tell different stories. A 2.5 hour drive from here you will see another architectural monument the caves in the village of Ellora. It is one of the largest rock-cut Hindu temple complexes in the world. The walls of the caves are decorated with images that date back to 600-1000 AD. They are dedicated to Buddhism, Hinduism and Jainism. Ancient India was characterized by religious tolerance. Stay at Vivanta Aurangabad and appreciate its elegant interiors. 6. Jaipur, Rajasthan The amazing walled city of Jaipur is the capital of the state of Rajasthan. It is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is called the Pink City thanks to its sandstone buildings in a magical dusty pink hue. This city was once a historical center of Indian trade. Now here you can enjoy aromatic street food, buy fabrics and handicrafts at the market and explore many forts and palaces. Visit the famous Hawa Mahal Palace, built in 1799. The palace's intricate pink facade resembles a honeycomb. You can also climb the Aravalli Mountains to the Nahargarh Fort, built in the 18th century. From here you have a magnificent view of the city. Stay with the locals at Villa Magpai. 7. Amritsar, Punjab In northern India, in the state of Punjab, there is the city of Amrasadar, and in it is the Golden Temple, Harmandir Sahib. This is the most sacred place for Sikhs. So far, the temple is only included in the tentative list of UNESCO sites, but it is still worth seeing. The central building of the complex seems to float on an artificial lake. Thanks to one Maharaja at the beginning of the 19th century, it was covered with 750 kilograms of gold. You must remove your shoes at the entrance. Stroll along the marble promenade while people pray by the water. You can join the pilgrims at the Langar, the world's largest soup kitchen. Langar works on the principle of equality. Anyone can come here and eat for free, regardless of caste, religion or gender. It happens that the Langar serves up to 300,000 people per day. Come here in November to catch the Sikh festival Gurpurab. You will see the temple decorated with lights and devout people lighting candles. This is a special holiday. The birthday of Guru Nanak, the founder and first guru of Sikhism. Stay at Country Inn Hall of Heritage, Amritsar. It doesn't matter whether you look at these stunning places online or in person. Listen to songs from our playlist to immerse yourself in the atmosphere of India.